Lord, we pray. Heaven will open upon all and sundry in Jesus' name. Lord, we are asking. Nobody here today. We go home the way they came, carry their burden and their sorrows, just like before, in Jesus' name. Let your power, let your presence, let your intervention, let your mercy, like Corenta Dampo, pour upon the congregation here this morning, in Jesus' name. Fill the tabernacle with your presence. Speak unto your people. Lift up their feet, Lord God. Open their eyes. Give them your blessings. For every look in every lap here, even this morning, as you pray, you'll be shattered into pieces and be burst and sunder and not to be there any longer. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Genesis 26. Genesis 26. Why didn't very clear from verse 12? Genesis 26. Proof me there. In verse 12, 12 and verse 13, Genesis 26, verse 12 and 13. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. The Lord will bless you. And the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great. What I'm sharing with you this morning is titled Pray Through Unto Breakthrough. Pray Through Unto Breakthrough. The word breakthrough is commonly used whether in the source or outside the source. It's not a new vocabulary. However, when I say breakthrough, what do I mean? Number one, breakthrough means accomplishment. That, that is a goal, that is a target, that is a destiny, that is an end. I say direction. I say where you are going. I say coming. You want to attend onto. And God in His mercy takes you there. Then we say you have broken through. You have a breakthrough. Number two, breakthrough means success. You want to fail, whether in examination, academic examination, life examination, and as we have examination in different areas. And we say someone has broken through because he has crossed the hurdle of failure. And it's not failing. He has passed. The examinations of life, we say that individual has succeeded, then he has a breakthrough. Again, when we say breakthrough, what do I mean? It means overcoming. There are hurdles, there are barricades, there are barriers, there are blockages, there are roadblocks. And that individual cut through, and he travels through, and blockages are not stopping him. Barricades are not stopping him. Barriers are not stopping him. So they will lay him, but he overcomes them, and eventually... Finishes his journey and gets to his destination. That individual has broken through. I pray here this morning also to be broken through. Uh, when I say something now, what the teacher made and that, I pray here this morning to be broken through. And what you have just read about the individual that we talk about here, Isaac, Genesis 26, in verse 12, is nothing but breakthrough. Genesis 26, verse 26. Do with me there in verse 12. Then Isaac sold in that land. Breakthrough doesn't come for people who fold their hands. Breakthrough is not for indolent people, not for lazy men. Breakthrough is not for visionless men and women. Breakthrough is not for people who have no idea of what must be done and what to do. Breakthrough is not for people who sit on their arms here. Breakthrough is for people who go outside there to do something. Isaac was not sitting down. He sold. Then I see soul in that land. I receive, I receive in the same year. Are you aware? It's not everybody that sows that receives. Am I right? What and so, and the soil heats up your seeds and doesn't dominate nor bring forth any fruit. But for I seek to sow and to receive, not receiving the following year, but receiving the same year. He didn't tarry long before blessing came. He wasn't stagnant. Before he made progress, you too, you will not be stagnant. So he said, I see souls in that land and received in the same year. So I think so they received, but they see exactly what they sold. They received just three times what they sold. They received just ten times what they sold. But this individual received in the same year and hundredfold. And the Lord bless him. As he saw, he will receive a hundredfold. Isaac was in the Old Testament. We are now in the New. We have under a better Testament than Isaac. 
And that's why I say, you will receive a thousand folds in Jesus' name. Now, in verse 13, and the man was great. You was great. I say you was great. You will not be a mean man. Ordinariness will live your life. When they say someone is an ordinary person, it's a man that's inconsequential. Henceforth, you be a man of faith, a woman of honor. And the man was great and went forward. It wasn't where he was last year that he remained, was making progress. And when I'm talking about breakthrough, it's not only academic. Number one, that's academic breakthrough. Number two, that's professional breakthrough. Number three, that's financial breakthrough. Or call it business breakthrough as well. Number four, that's marital breakthrough. In fact, number five, that's ministerial breakthrough. And number six, above all, that's spiritual breakthrough. So, when I'm talking about breakthrough, talk about it anyhow. You need breakthrough everywhere, in any area, whatever you face, in any endeavor, whatever you embark upon. Whether you are a student, you need breakthrough. Whether you are a lecturer, you need breakthrough. Whether you are a non-academic staff, you need breakthrough. Whether you are a trader, you need breakthrough. Whether you are a businessman, businesswoman, you need breakthrough. Whether you are a farmer, you need breakthrough. Whatever you are doing in life, whether you are married, you need breakthrough. Whether you are a preacher, you need breakthrough. How, how do you imagine a preacher, a pastor of 20 people in his congregation? That's not a problem. If someone can start somewhere. And five years, you are back again, you are back again, see 20 people, no breakthrough. If it's a preacher, and as his preaching, his audience must be increasing. Yes, he may start with five people, ten people, but the disciples were just 120 on the day of Pentecost. And eventually, just one single message, 3,000 joined them. And he got a time, he said, a, a, a time came, in the book of Acts, they lost count. You will lose count of your own blessing. And so it is said here, verse 13, read it again. And the man was great. And the man went forward. And grew until he became how? Very, he will be very great. Superlative blessing will be your own person. You know to say? Good, better, what? Best. That's superlative. And so it's not just great. Being great is good. Being great is great. But being very great is wonderful. I say again, it will be very great. And see it again, second sermon. But tell you, it's taking learning you break it in every different area of life. I'm showing you something about David. Second sermon. But tell you, do it with me quickly there in verse 1. Second sermon. Chapter 3. I'm reading with you in verse 1. I told you about David. I'm reading now. Now, there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. There's always war before breakthrough. There's always battle before breakthrough. There's always an effort, input of strength before any breakthrough. Breakthrough doesn't come and meet people who are sleeping, as I told you before. There was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David was stronger. He was stronger. I was thinking that the war should make David feeble. The war should make David weak. The war should make David discouraged. The war should leave David worse than before. No. The Bible says, but David was stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul was how? Weaker and weaker. As from today, your enemy, they was weaker and weaker. All those things that you look at and they intimidate you, as from today, they begin to disappear. A time came, Saul was no more. David did not see his enemy any longer. As from today, your enemy will not see any longer. I'm not saying that, 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 that they will die. No, not, not necessarily. But I'm saying that as from today, the enemy has seen today. We're laying you, hindering your breakthroughs, something between you and your destiny. And from this morning as you stay here, you will see them no longer in Jesus' name. But do I, do, do, do you know, know something? I'm saying, praying through to breakthrough. 
is not working hard to break through. I told you, working hard is a necessity. Working hard is a condition. Working hard is compulsory. But do you know that the mistake many people make? They feel that once I work hard, once I do my part, once I'm responsible, once, I, once I'm doing well, then there can be any problem. Definitely, I will break through. But he said, no. It's not of him that works it. Not of him that will it. But what? But if God has shed mercy. Here this morning, we are thankful for mercy. It's like you are tired of saying amen. Are you saying here this morning, you are a candidate of mercy? And how does mercy come? As you plead for mercy here in the place of prayer, and you pray to here this morning, I'm telling you mercy than ever before. You begin to witness in every department of your life in Jesus' name. Three short points. Number one, proper perspective of breakthrough. Proper perspective of breakthrough. Number two, pain in spite of promises for breakthrough. Pain. So they, have, they have promises. And promises are to them like monuments. Never active in their own life. Promises to them is like a picture on the wall. Immovable, stagnant, they are like not doing anything, not having effect in their lives. They are going around with pain. Yet, even, even though there are promises, pain in spite of promises for breakthrough. Number three, preparation and prayer for breakthrough. Are you prepared? This morning, will you pray? Wait that time. Now, I will call you to pray. And I want to tell you that the extent of your prayer this morning will determine the extent of your breakthrough. Because God is, is, is available here this morning. That's the Bible here this morning. And the curtain of heaven is drawn this morning. It's like they say, come. Water Corporation has now brought water. And everybody bring your pockets. And that is trap. And nobody is saying, the one of sex is enough. Just, just go to your bedroom, go to your toilet, take as many as you want. And within just few one hour, fetch everything. What will you do? You go and bring all your vessels. Am I right? You will feel everywhere. In fact, even when, even when, when you are ready to bath, you will bath ahead of time. At least, I won't, I mean, I will, I will stop as many, I mean, as much water as possible. And that is the attitude God wants this morning. That as you come to his presence, as we pray, here before him, waiting for breakthrough in any department, in every area of your life, that what you bring is what you will have. If you bring two verses, one verse, two verses, two verses, and you say, no, why are we paying that much? It's, it's all right. When you say it's all right, God also says it's all right. When that man got verses, and he locked herself up, and the verses finished, what happened? The oil changed. That's why he said, this morning, as you pray, you will pray, not just short prayer. You will pray, not just simple prayer. You will pray, not a prayer of a gentleman. You will pray, not a scholarly prayer. You know the kind of prayer, something like a madman. Are you aware of that? When you talk in like a prayer of Mokamel, wasn't praying like an, an Americana. No, they wouldn't have fallen. He put his head in between his eyes. And he was really decreeing. He was really groaning. He was really telling God. And he said, go and check up. What do you see? He said, I saw something. I didn't see anything. Okay, the prayer has not been true. He continued again. Go and check up. Well, I said everywhere, I didn't see anything. Maybe we say, well, I will see my God. What will happen to this? And you know, sometimes they even have a, a servant that doesn't really believe in what we are doing. I said, my guy is pissed so I'll go and check. I've said, I didn't see anything. I've said, I'm here. I didn't see anything. Go again. Go and check up. He went. He eventually said, I saw a cloud. Like a feast of man. Something small. Starting small, but becoming, he said, now. It's starting small, but very soon it's coming. Now, as I'm telling you here this morning, something big is coming. For three years, three years there has not been rain. As he prayed like a madman on my camel. Rain came, and tomorrow, I mean, and this morning as well, rain is coming. Point number one now, proper perspective of breakthrough. In Jeremiah 29, Jeremiah 29, come on, Pastor God's Bishop, but read all the same. Jeremiah 29, I'm reading with you there in verse 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts I think towards you. Say the Lord, thoughts of Peace. Number one, breakthrough comes with peace. The kind of elevation that you have, 
that will lose your joy, that will lose your rest of mind, that will lose your peace. They know you everywhere. You are famous. You are popular. You are rich. But you are not happy. That's not breakthrough. Breakthrough comes with peace. Breakthrough comes with joy. I know the thoughts that I change towards you. Say the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. Breakthrough comes with fulfillment, satisfaction, and contentment. The breakthrough that you have, that is like, God, take away the money. Just give me a rest of mine. That breakthrough is not from God. Thought of peace and not of evil. To give you an... That's great to be here. And so the end. But what you decide, you have an end you are expecting. I want a two one. I want a first class. I want a two two. That's an expected end. This letter, I want such and such GPA. That's what you are expecting. That's the expected end. And this year, I want to become senior lecturer. I want to become a professor. I want to become a professor. That's an expected end. And uh, by the end of this year, I want my capital of my business to have me attend this me this month. That's an expected end. At the end of this year, I want to have one this month of converts. That's an expected end. By the end of this year, this gift of the spirit was manifesting in my life. That's an expected end. I know the thoughts. I think the you thought of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. That is great today. I think it comes with peace, comes with joy, comes with satisfaction, comes with fulfillment. You not know, when God will give you a gift, doesn't take away something good and give you another something that, that is good. No. God's blessing is always additional, it's always cumulative. Devil gives a blessing. So to me, so, so, so to say, in quote, blessing in quote, and he gives as a replacement. He takes the best and gives the bad. And he records the bad as if it is good. So we take away your joy, your longevity. You want to be released? No problem. I won't tell you the whole implication. And say, go and throw them out somewhere. And this is what will be done. And you will do all of those things. They won't tell you that as you now become rich and you be very rich, literally. You'll be sorry that even the money you have, you have problems about how to spend them. But they won't tell you that you will go in the midst of your day, there will be no longevity. And you are dying at 45, at 50, at 52. They won't tell you that as you are rich, your first one will go for it. The third year is your wife. The year later, then it's me, it's you. And see, the came with calamity of calamity start coming. And even though your names are written over the newspaper, but then, no happiness. What will take away happiness from you will never happen to you. So I am not the thought that I think it was you. Thought of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. When devil gives you a wife, he gives you a lioness. She will tear you apart. If devil gives you a husband, he has given you a tire killer. You won't live long. You will not be happy. In fact, you will prefer to be single again. That is almost impossible. You know that as people are praying, are praying for the death of their spouse. Because whatever I have given them, it's not making them happy. But I pray every gift of the enemy in your life, here this morning, you will drop from the world. Every good gift comes from above. That's God. I give what is good. If you use what is better, in fact, He gives what is best. And that is what we mean by breakthrough. Sit for that. Book of Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9. In verse 13. Book of Amos chapter 9. Read with me quickly. There in verse 13. Amos 9. I'm reading with you quickly. In verse 13. Are you there please? The holy days come. Hear the Lord. That the plowman shall overtake the reaper. And the ten feeder of grace, him that sweat seed, and the mountains that drop with wine, and all the hills shall do what? In fact, that verse is loaded. It's not the meaning. The plowman, you know, when you want to sow, you plow. Am I right? That is, that, that is the time of sowing. But because the harvest of last year, was so plenteous. The reaper were still reaping. They reaped and reaped and reaped. They're not still reaping. 
since not time again for sowing this year. And because there are so many to be read, they are still reading. And the time of sowing for this year again has come. We have not seen the harvest of last year. And the plowman now is overtaking the reaper. Say, move, look, you are disturbing me. But don't you see the grains? There are so many. I can't. How do you want to get all of this at the sand? Please, pray for me. That blessing that you have to your hands. When the fishermen were pulling their nets at the miracle of multitudes of fish that Christ did on the sea, they had to go and call their friends to help them pull. Am I right? Miracles beyond your capacity. God will keep on to you. That was what happened. That's what this verse is saying. He said, the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the trader of grapes, him that soweth seed. And the mountains that drop what? All bitter water in your life, they will die off now. Mountain will begin to drop it wild. And all the hills, hills are intimidating. Hills are like opposition. These are like blockages. These are like hindrances. These are like a roadblock. But when the fire of God comes from down here, from, 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 from above, what happens to the hill? The hill will melt. Like ice, like ice blocks. And I said, a hill used to stay here. But you get there, you find it no more. And it will have been difficult for you outside. You get back there, you find them no more, you do something. Because hills shall melt. But you know, hills will only melt when there is fire of prayer. When the peel becomes melt, heated, uh, bring a big block. People sell the ice blocks. This is some of the ceremony. So my ice block will be as big as this. Am I right? Like really block, like really brick block. And very, very easy. Bring that block on a, bar, a barrel. And it's placed over fire. Before fire wood. It won't take you time. Within just three minutes, what looks like a stone before that could kill a man, if you throw it at a man, the man will die. But now, put it inside the barrel. It's no more harmful. Am I right? Why have you seen harm before? You will see harmlessness in Jesus' name. Why? The heel shall melt. That is what God is talking about. We're talking about breakthrough. There will be some souls in your marriage. Some blockages in your marriage, some mountains in your marriage, some hills in your marriage, not allowing progress. They say, I seek went forward. It's not allowing you to make progress. You are not going forward. Maybe it's like in your finances or in your business. You are not going forward. Maybe it's your own profession. You are not going forward. You are just stagnant as a sport. Maybe it's your GPA. That they will place an embargo on your GPA. And you say, what? They say, what was it last year? I say, 1.9. Say, what was the cumulative again? What is this? Similar GPA again, this one and then. It's a 149. What is the cumulative now? He says it's 149 as well. The, all the joke of them is just putting you at the spot. It's like they is calculating your GPA for you ahead of time. And he says, remove this one here. You know, that, give me a here. That one D. Give me one E. This is too much. And, and it's like they're hosting, holding me on your behalf. And by the time they are aggregate everything to together, your GPA is shameful. When we go and make and if, you are going to say, what's your GPA? Hello, it says, I will see you later. Because you are so ashamed to mention it. All those who post you here this morning, go with them away. For purpose, of breakthrough in some traditions. Some traditions in verse 8. Some traditions, read with me there, quickly, in verse 8. Some traditions. I'm reading with you in verse 8. They shall be abundantly satisfied. With the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. Breakthrough brings pleasures. What is the benefit of breakthrough when it's not pleasant? Breakthrough brings happiness, brings fulfillment. They shall be abundantly satisfied. Satisfaction. You know, have you had people talking about job satisfaction before? Am I right? And they say, and we are seeing that job satisfaction does not really have to do majorly with the payment. And I say, you, why are you leaving this kind of job and coming for this kind of interview? I say, I want fulfillment. I want job satisfaction. 
and to tell you that it's not the money, it's not the salary, it's not the planning, the package. I want fulfillment, I want satisfaction. In your life here this morning, you begin to have satisfaction. Maybe you are almost contemplating to study here and you are here in the congregation. I was like, why am I living? Something was more than this. I was like, you go this direction, brick wall. This direction, no way. Cut to that one, no movement. I will say, death is more than this. All those ideas, make all those happen, make you to feel it. That means that way. That damage of depression. Here this morning, go with pride and our Because when breakthrough comes, it gives pleasure. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of the house. And they shall all drink from the rivers of thy pleasure. See it further now. Leviticus 26. Leviticus 26. And in verse 5. Proper perspectives of breakthrough. Leviticus 26. I'm reading with you there in verse 5. Leviticus 26. I'm reading verse 5 with you. And your creation shall reach unto the vantage. And the vantage shall reach unto the same time. And you shall eat your bread to the full. And dwell in your land safely. When breakthrough comes, they come with security. The kind of addition, multiplication that God gives you, and you are not secured, and it opens you up to attack, and doesn't make you live long. That's not divine breakthrough. You shall dwell in your land safely. Whatever is threatening your life is threatening God. Because that would say your life is hid in God, in Christ Jesus. That is why. Oh, I'm talking about breakthrough. It's all a compassion. Don't be asking to beg us for having breakthrough. No. It's all that. And in every area that will be mentioned breakthrough here this morning, God is saying, I will attend unto your request in Jesus' name. Here are the sound of the soloist. Can you go to heaven? Enjoy the light. And he said, you can see the current on that line. And that line is not blocked. You can say, ah, hey, you, you can phone using your mobile. And uh, talk to people. And say the network is bad. And the person's line will be open and say that, you mean, it's not available. Or, uh, 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 speak to the, to the which one now? Uh, that, uh, answer me now. Voicemail. And when it comes to God, no voicemail. It's right there. It's real time and online. And it's not that you mean, speak there, how come I do data? Now I'm not available. No. All the network is bad. With heaven, no network is bad. Network of heaven is always on. If network is bad, it's, all, it's, me, it's, me only, it's, it's only at your own end here. Because you may not be in network area. You know, it is possible that you are driving and you are phoning. You get some places, you say, no network coverage. Am I right? And so every effort to call, impossible. And they are calling you, impossible. This morning, the only thing I can hinder you from getting through is... In staying in the area of no network coverage. So when you say sinner, no network coverage. If you are disobeying God, no network coverage. If you are not at tune with God, network is not covering you. But after God is here, I will get there later. But there is the only thing that can hinder. For God, network is always there. But as we are in network area here this morning, communion with heaven. That the answer speedily from heaven in Jesus' name. I see a person. Lastly, on that point, I see a 30. In verse 3, I see a. Verse 30. Read with me in verse 23. Proper perspective of breakthrough. Verse 3, are you there? Then shall he give the rain of that seed. Are you there? I'm waiting for you. So, Bible. I see a 30. Verse 3. If I dare say I am, thank you very much. Then shall he give the rain of thy sheep, that thou shalt sow the ground with us, and bread of the increase of the earth, and it shall be fat and plenteous. In that day shall the cattle feed the light of pastors. That the promises of God for all and sundry, for pastors, for priests. Your cattle will feed in like pastors. 
not in strict gates, not in limited pastors. And if for all even even those who are talking about financial bringing breakthrough, say you your pastors are playing yours. Your best are playing yours. You will sow your seed. And he gives promises for everybody, even students that they are sowers. As you are reading, you are showing effort. You are showing time. You are showing attention. You are showing comprehension. You are showing diverse things. And you see that as you are showing, sowing with stress, sowing in tears, you shall reap again. And when you, you are reaping, testimonies are filled your mouth in Jesus' name. Listen, as you pray here, this man, the exam you have done, and the one you are yet to do, testimony will be your own person. What's number two now? Pain in spite of promises for breakthrough. Pain in spite of promises for breakthrough. Now, I show you some promises of God. You are saying what breakthrough is. It comes with peace. It comes with pleasure. It comes with prosperity. That is grateful. And uh, he, when, when you say it's grateful, really people will even see that God has really favored this person. But how is it and why is it that despite all of these promises, people still live in pain? People still, people still live in poverty. People still live in, uh, in, 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 in stagnancy. People are not still making progress. And it's like uh, you, there's a war around about you. And, and you are just there and you are there. Pain in spite of promises for breakthrough. Now at this point, I want to use the life of a man in The man you know very, very well. He has promise. He has prayers. I was promised. I was prayer. Men pray for him. God, I angel, even spoke well about him. Yet, he was in servitude for a while. Or he knew the secret. And that's the key that he knew and he actualized. That's the secret I want to show you, show you this morning. And until he prayed through, nothing happened. And may I tell you, the way things are, you know, the way we used to watch it, as it was in the beginning. So it is. And what will it be? What would that end? They are talking about God and their rights. But when it comes to it, that's your problem. As it was in the beginning. So it is. And what will it be? That's the cause. And that friend here this morning, your prayer will change it. That's why, want, that's why we are here. Pay in spite of promises for breakthrough. Genesis 27. The man Jacob. Genesis 27. And read with you there in verse 26. Genesis 27. Read with me in verse 26. Genesis 27. I'm reading quickly with you there in verse 26. Now see what is happening here. And the father I see said to him, Come near now. That's the prayer. That's the blessing. And kiss me, my son. And you know, it was a supplying time. But now they want to take the promise by the sheep. And the promise and the prayer was given unto him. And he came near and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his raiment. And blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son, that the smell of his field, would the Lord have blessed. Therefore, God gives thee of the dew of heaven. And the fatness of the earth. And plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve this. And let us bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren. And let our mother's son bow down to thee. Call thee everyone that conquered thee. And bear be thee that bless thee. He had this promise. He had this blessing. He had this prayer. That was the blessing with which Jacob was blessed. And we were said. That as this man was standing from his kneel, living the father, this is not happening immediately. But alas, for quite a long time, this did not really happen. And his brother Esau, he knew what has happened, now said very soon, our father and our, and our mother, they will mourn the death of their son. And that son, Jacob, and Rebecca had that and said, hey, very soon the will die. And something happened here. See it now. In verse 30. And it came to pass. As soon as. as and, and it came to pass. See there now. In verse 44. Rather. Or verse 41. We have just read. Genesis 27. Verse 26 to 29. See verse 41 now. 27. Verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob. Because of the blessing. Where would his father bless him? 
and Esau said in his heart, The day of mourning for my father are time. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Will you hear that and say, I will go to stay around? Stay away. Run. As far as you can. He said, We see you. Don't stay here. And they quickly make an, an arrangement. He will for him. An arrangement, you see what was done now in verse 44. Genesis 27, verse 44. And tarry with him. Verse 43 now. Now therefore, my son, be my voice. Arise. And flee down to Laban, my brother, to hear him. And tarry with him a few days. Until thy brother series do what? Turn away. That was the mother speaking. I've heard what your brother said. Now, run away. I have a junior brother. They are in a far land. Run there, escape for that soul. Sit there for some few days until his fury will be appeased. The few days was what the baker said. Are you aware he spent 20 years there? In fact, he didn't see that was the last time he saw the mother. When the journey of few days is becoming 20 years, that is a joke that, that is broken. When a journey of one year becoming seven years, when a procedure where you spend three years, you are not spending two years, that is for prayer. When a program of three years, it's only five, six years, that is for prayer. When what you are copying within two months, you are copying it now within six years, that is for prayer. And in fact, you don't need any prophet. So diagnose the people of prayer for you. That's really, really need for prayer. He went for 20 years. And he became a fugitive. He was carrying promises and blue on his head. Death on his head. He was living in pain. What happened? And eventually he got onto labor. By the time he got onto labor, I will tell you what happened now. 31, Genesis 31. In verse 41. Genesis chapter 31. Look with me there. Verse 7, first of all. Genesis 31. Look with me there. Verse 7. So start with Genesis 31. I'm reading with you here now in verse 38. Genesis chapter 31. Now read with me in verse 38. These 20 years. Have I been with thee, that is, and that she goes? Have not cast their young, and the rams of their flock? Have I, have I not seen? That, that was Jacob complaining now. That which was torn of this, I brought not unto thee. I bear the lot of it. Of my hand did thou require it. Whether stolen by day, or stolen by night. Thus I was, in the day that God consumed me, and the fought by night, and my sleep departed from my... I answer me. Will that man enjoy? Answer me now. Answer me very well. Such a man, can you say he's enjoying? You can't say he was enjoying. He was living his he was living his life in servitude. They say men will serve him. But he was one serving men now. He got to labor. You know what happened? They said, What is your salary? And he said that uh, I will serve. I want for me, I want to get Married to your children, I mean to your daughter, Rachel. No problem. They agree for seven years. So just to get a wife. His father was sleeping at home, Isaac. When they gave him a wife, he didn't even travel anywhere. The wife was with her leg to come and meet him at home. They come for 14 years to get married to a wife, to the wife he loved. After the seven years, you know what happened? Instead of Rachel, who did they give him? They gave him Leah. Servitude continued. He had a carryover. The seven years, they had to repeat again to get Rachel. When the father did not serve a serve a single day, when what others are getting freely and easily is becoming burdensome and becoming a joke for you, we need prayer. The promises of God are there for you. But it's like for you, they are not in action. They are not activated. And it says now in verse for me, 41. Thus have I been 20 years in thy house. He served Laban for 20 years. 
when he has been prayed for that men will serve him. I'm asking you now, that prayer is still not being answered here. Answer me now. No. You will think it will start happening immediately. Pain. In spite of promises for breakthrough. But for you here this morning, there might be pain. And I'm aware of that. There might be difficulty. You can see that me, there have been unanswered prayer. But here this morning, you will pray for your breakthrough. You are coming tight now, BMA. I say you pray for your breakthrough. And so, 20 years I've been here, starving. 20 years I've been here. And I was taking care of your cattle, of your rams, of your sheep. And eventually now, I mean, I start, you say, I will you give me your child, give me your, your, your daughter. Eventually, I start every year. You get the sinner with me, the sinner sister. I had no matter fulfillment. Now, I, I, I have to start up again. So, 14 years to marry. Four years for fun. And, you know, Laban changed his salary ten times. As he's talking about agreement, federal government, am I right? And the uh, NME agreement for that government. Who so that we again now? Everybody now, I ask you, they are strike now. Federal government, they have agreed, they have they they agreement, agreement, agreement. Labor, and unfortunately, they come, they come, they come, not go on strike. We put in trouble. For 10 times, they change his wages. They will say, this is how much we will be, be earning. We, we will protect the agreement again. Okay, this is how much we will be earning. 10 times his wages were changed. And it's like, in your own case, you are meeting with, you are not having favor. People, people, people who are saying, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. But for you, you've not been lucky for one day. They are saying, I was fortunate. That fortunate became a strange word, your own vocabulary. But what others have been enjoying here this morning, are from now onward, beyond their own enjoyment, you will enjoy. Because God will start giving you all you have lost, He'll be giving you in arrears in Jesus' name. Said ten times appreciate my wages, and it wasn't all that. If the problem was just to take my wages and I start to marry Rachel, he gave me, he gave me Leah, and I was not uh, feeding well. He was not taking care of me. He was not good to me. He was he hated me. If, if that was all, that would be better. They will say, if you cannot afford the head, at least you can retreat. Am I right? Jacob had no home to go back to. If you go back to the family house, he's dead. And that was the problem. For you to not, not to be enjoying where you are, and to not to have options, because you, you couldn't go anywhere. And it wasn't that they tried that for 20 years. No, there was no home to go. He saw we killed him. That was the situation with Jacob. Despite all the promises. You say, oh, how unlucky Jacob was. But you look at yourself. See all the promises I've read in part one. And look at your own life now. Place your life, your personality, your past, and your present side by side with the promises. We say that they are in agony, they are in action in your life. You know that as Isaac blessed Jacob the same way, God has blessed you. As Isaac prayed for Jacob the same way, the God of heaven has prayed for you. Whatever you see as promises in scripture, they are, in, they are prayers of God for your own life. But do not, they are not coming to pass in your life. Look at your academics. Are they coming to pass? Look at your profession. I don't say that you are reaching testimonies and your promises are getting through your profession, in your job. Look at your business and your finances. You are earning fast. Uh, that increase is not the problem. But what is your achievement with the team, with all your earning? Nothing to show for it. As the money is coming, the, the thing that will take them away, they are immediately appearing. And you work for this amount of years, when they see your first sleep, people will shout. But take me to your plot of land, no plot. What, your, even your vehicle, you are pouring water all the time when you travel. It's like poverty is all around you, yet you are animals. Look at it. You, you read much, but you gain little. People you are teaching before the exam, they are passing more than you. You are pain in the midst of promises. And that looks like the case of Jacob. But thank God, Jacob did something. Here this morning, he will do something as well. And what Jacob did, he was prepared for breakthrough. No, sorry, if I'm not prepared for breakthrough. Someone says, when opportunity meets readiness, that is success. 
Opportunity can come for so everyone to be prepared for the opportunity. But when opportunity comes and you are ready and you see the opportunity, then there is success. There comes see the opportunity here this morning, this opportunity of divine move, you will see that as well. It wasn't only Jacob. I mean, I see that pray for Jacob. You know, it's the way. God a place, call it better. And angel appeared unto him. He saw a ladder from heaven. I won't, I mean, I won't show you there, I mean, there now. Ascending and descending. And he said, of course, of a truth. This is the house of God. And I knew it's not. It was me, in his dream. And I was a prophecy. And I was prayer. Angel prayed for him. The father prayed for him. They blessed him. But unfortunately, may I tell you, it wasn't coming to pass immediately. How then do you do to bring prophecy into performance? You know, that's prophecy, that's performance. Something must come in between. And what must come in between is that you have to add prayer to the prophecy. When that's prophecy plus prayer, then it becomes performance. All that God has promised you, as from this morning, they will come to pass. When well, all the prophecies have been watching in the Bible, and it's like they saw been there, and nothing appeared to be happening. And from this morning, things will start happening in Jesus' name. Yeah. You are not saying a good amen, no? Yeah. And as from this time, this exam, I say things will happen. Yeah. Not students, things will happen. Yeah. Married people here, things will happen. Business men and women, things will happen. Newcomers, as I sit down here, things will happen. But what will happen? Before it happens, let me show you something. Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. Read with me there in verse 37. Ezekiel 36. Verse 37. Are you there now? Ezekiel 36. Read with me there in verse 37. Just share the Lord God. I will yet for this be inquired by the house of Israel. To do it for them, I will increase them with men like his Lord. The first part of that verse is what I want to emphasize. Even though I promised them, even though I told them I will do this, I will do that, I will do that for them, I will yet for these promises be inquired. Don't just watch prophecies or promises of me or the word of God. You still have to inquire of the Lord. You have to pray. God, the promises are there. This promise, this promise, this promise. Bring it to pass. If you fold your hand and say the promises are there, if it will come to pass, it may never come to pass. Because God said the Lord God, I will yes. Even though I have said it, yes. For this, you will have to pray for it to make it happen. I will hear for this be inquired by the house of Israel to do it for them. As we inquire of him here, to do it for you here this morning, he will do it. I say he will do it. Promotion, he will do it. Stress, he will do it. Prosperity, he will do it. Marriage, he will do it. Peace, he will do it. Progress, he will do it. In your own, what is the lack of your family? God will do it for you in Jesus' name. And while it has been as if the devil is holding you in the hand, that stronghold this morning is to be broken. Yeah. Why? Because, as you pray here, you okay, he will mess the hills. And the enemy you have been seen before, as from this morning, you will see them no longer in Jesus' name. Yeah. Point number three now preparation and prayer for breakthrough. Preparation and prayer for breakthrough. Genesis 32. Read with me there in verse 3. Genesis. 32. I'm reading with you there in verse 3. And Jacob sends messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Shia, the country of Edom. Do you know what is happening here? He knew that how long will I start? In fact, he said, When will I even prepare for my house now? I'll be here for 20 years. I'm not going young. I'm becoming an old man now. Ah. Something must not happen. I can't die in a thing now. How like this? Let me see whether I can go back. Let me make efforts. 
And the effort he was making was the one we read here. And Jacob set messenger. I've offended Esau. I've sinned against Esau. And he sent messenger before him to Esau. At least he won't kill the And the one who went to kill, he said of his brother, in the land of Seo, the country of Edom, and he commanded them, saying, Thus shall you speak unto my Lord Esau. Before, he was to be the master of his brother. Am I right? Now, Esau was his Lord. See, by his own confession. He, he ought to be, he saw up his confession unto him. But now, if he was not at the mercy of Esau, and he says, Thus and thus shall you say unto my Lord Esau, Thy servant Jacob, see that, is better than serving. But now, thy servant Jacob said, Those have adjourned with Liban, have adjourned with Liban, Liban, and stayed there until now. And I have oxen, and asses, flocks, and men servants, and women servants. Now I've sent to tell my Lord that may find grey in that line, in that sky. So what's the meaning of that? Flock, cattle, whatever, and so what is what, what are you pushing? I really need to understand you. What's the meaning of that? Go and tell him he's in trouble. What do I mean by cattle? What are, that doesn't have anything to do with me. And the messenger returned to Jacob saying, We came to the brother Esau, and also he came to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Ah, said Jacob, he sent it to me. So he still give my he give me his address. I don't need to know where he's staying. And he was not even there alone. He recruited four hundred men for only one person. And the messenger they told him, Jacob, in fact, the trouble is more than what we have said. Though. In fact, we are thinking the thing is easy. But the way it is now, only God will help you. Then Jacob was greatly afraid. Blessed, but afraid. Promises were there, but yet there was fear in his heart. No rest of mind, no joy. Whatever is unfortunate your joy here this morning, God will answer it to And he was afraid. God promised he will be the head and not the tail. But that is the cause of your local or personality frightening you. And it's like, say you won't graduate. Say it here. Even though you say you won't graduate. Say your check there, go and say to yourself here, I'm graduating. I'm, gra- I'm, gra- I'm graduating. I'm going my own time. I'm not studying a day extra. What you say before God will come to pass? No matter what any man say anywhere. He is not said, go and tell him. So he's still living. Where do you say he is? Don't worry. That's it. Whatever. I'm coming. And he says, go and hide you. The man is coming. And in fact, 400. My time for that men came. Me, me. But that's what they meant. Men come. If you run this way, if you meet this one, you meet, meet, meet that other one. If you meet this one, you meet this messenger. So they will, they will have you. He was greatly afraid. And distressed. And he divided the people that took the king. And the flocks. And herds. And the camels Into two bands. And said, if he shall come to the one company and smash it. Then the other company, who is left, shall escape. And started making strategy. Started making strategy of failure. That, well... Uh, let me quickly be being part time teaching after that. By the time I spend the last semester, my parents were at home. Who knew it's not your program? I would tell them not to worry. I was talking to myself in the last semester or the last session. But if it so comes, he smiled the other one. The other one, they will escape. He was making a regret for the smiting of Esau. Every argument of failure. Here this morning, God will cancel them. He already has assumed defeat. That look, it's over. There's no way out. They say it's coming. Folks, it's all people. How many do I have? Myself, my two wives, and my children. Eleven of them. How many? Eleven children with two wives. Thirteen. Me, fourteen. And few servants. What, what are we in the midst of uh, 400 men? With you, sir. Four one. And how many? What? How do I escape? So let me know. I don't lose everything. Even if it suits me, my children will have something to inherit. So, that's Let's buy them to see. And uh, the ones are big. 
divide them into two. Small one into two. Then if you destroy this one, even if I die, at least they mean those are two shells, who burn the rest of them, that is something for them. And it was already making strategy because he feels that he said the end has come. I'm telling you what I will tell is the end. That God has not appointed here this morning, he has his panel So I know the thought, I feel so much too. Thought of peace, thought of evil. So give you the expected end. Is the end that God expects. Is the pleasant end that you are telling unto. That is the great school. That one, the end that God has not appointed. It's not your own end. The end has not come. I said the end has not come. I said the end has not come. You will make progress. You will go forward. Greater glad I mean, happiest days of your life. They are still ahead and they come very soon in Jesus' name. And he distributed them into two. And said, if it will come to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac. Now this is the beginning of wisdom. The Lord of my father, him, we will say unto me, return to thy country, to thy kingdom, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least, of all the mercies, and of all the truth. We thou and shoot of thy servant, for with my staff I have passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. Deliver me, I pray thee. From the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, let me come and smite me, and the mother with the children. And thou said, I will surely do thee good, and made thy seed. As the son of the sea, who cannot be numbered for multitude. And he loved the other, saying, Man. Here now, prayer started. This morning, your prayer is starting. That's preparation for breakthrough. Yes, I pray at this point. All this arrangement now has stopped. Prayer now has begun. And he prayed. There is prayer, and there is prayer. There are prayers, and there are prayers. If this is where they come stopped, you would have got breakthrough. Remember, I didn't say pray for breakthrough. What do I call it? Eh? Breakthrough. If you have stopped here, something would have happened. But thank God, he didn't stop here. And because he didn't stop there, something great eventually happened. He didn't stop here. He, he, he made progress. And something happened here. Now, what happened? He moved forward in the supplication and haven't prayed for some time now. He said, uh, let me now stop here. And uh, this prayer that uh, one is praying, and I'm still seeing Rachel, and I'm still seeing the Leah, and, uh, and eventually he said, something on, everybody now move away. He set all of them packing. Not away, but just move ahead. Move somewhere. Be going. It will remain him alone in verse 24, Genesis 32, Genesis 32, come back to verse 22, and he wrote of that night, and he is two wives, and his two men servants, and his eleven sons, and passed over the ford Jabok, and he took them, and set them over the brook, and sent over that he had, no discussion any longer, and Jacob was left, how? Alone. That is the beginning of being and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he saw the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of the joint as he wrestled with him. He has prayed before now. Now that's a higher level of prayer. Then you say, I've been praying. They've been speaking kind of plan and, and we've been praying. Yes. You pray like Jacob prayed, the kind of prayer I let you do at that time. That's good prayer. But that's higher level of prayer in physics, that's what they call high energy physics. That's high energy prayer as well. That you are praying for a level, but you need to go higher than that level. And in fact, the prayer was clear, and they were still around. That's not really prayer. And everything he had wives, children, servants, materials, cattle. He sent them over the brook, go away. And the brook was separated between him and them. And now he was left alone. And there he was wrestling. In the personality of heaven. Are you aware that prayer is wrestling? And those who overcome in prayer must be restless. And as who wrestle, 
he was wrestling and the angels that let me was wrestling with him. A time comes that you, know, you need to carry long in the place of prayer. A time comes that you need to pray like the way you have not prayed before. A time comes that you are oblivious of your environment and you forget that the other people there. A time comes that you don't bother about the time or what is ahead. And you are just left there alone. And you are still going to say, God, it's time you be here. It's now or never. And you forget yourself and abandon yourself in this presence. And God said, look, I have no option. I must do this. I mean, I must do this. The angel went through. Five nights. Jacob was tired. He kept praying. He kept, he kept wrestling. And eventually, it was getting towards the dawning of the day. You know some people? They pray and they stop their prayer in the night. Not physically speaking now. They even pray until light will come. Until the dawning of the day. As you pray here this morning, your darkness will disappear. A new day will be done in your life as from today onwards in Jesus' name. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, against Jacob, he tossed the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of dawn as he wrestled with him. He was caught having some pain, yet it was continuing. And he said, let me go for the dead breakers. Yes, he was saying, that's the only one I want. My, my day must break. It has to be done in the night. Because this is why. My money must come. My money of joy. And come to me. For the day break it. I said, I will not let you go. Except that bless me. I said to him, Okay, now. And the, the day is about done. What is thy name? That's the question God is asking you this morning. What is thy name? Because it is my name. That is no problem. And he said unto him, What is your name? And he said, My name is Jacob, a deceiver, a supplanter, a schemer. That's my name. My name was Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. Here this morning, God will show you your name. Where your name has become failure, your name has been stagnancy. You know, I've been struggled. You know, I've been sorrow. You know, I've been set back. You know, I've become with me. You know, I've been a reproach. God will say your name to gladness as of this morning. We shall then become fulfillment and joy and happiness and advancement and progress and promotion and blessing in Jesus' name. Your name shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, as thou power with God, and with men, and as thou art, and pray. Prevailing is breaking through, is praying through. When you wrestle and you prevail in prayer, then you are praying through. How do we now know that you are praying through? Things will change. A new chapter now came to the life of Jacob. I'm about closing now. I think it's chapter 3 of the book of Genesis. Genesis 3. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, he saw the Lord, he saw fear. And with him, how many men? For their men. And he divided the children unto Leah and to Rachel, and to the two hands made. And he put the hands made the children foremost. That's what I've done before. They're already putting here now again. And Leah, and children after, and Rachel, and Joseph, him that most. And he passed over before them, and bowed himself to the ground seven times, until he came near to his brother. And what happened? Answer me now. He saw him to meet him. And he was embracing. And fell on his neck and kissed him. And it was and the word. Where have you rejected? And from now on, you will be accepted. Where have you hated? And from now on, you will be favored. Where have you having problems and complaints and difficulties and prayer requests? And from now on, you have testimony. What happened? The secret was he rested all the night. And when he rested all the night, the story changed. How prayer changed things. So I just know the secret of prayer and I'm burning yourself in the place of prayer. And pray through in the place of prayer. As you've been walking out of these doors, you believe in your breakthroughs outside the earth in Jesus' name. Here this one as you pray. In your academic that you pray through. Financially that you pray through. Business that you pray through. Professor that you pray through. Mind that you pray through. Learning that you pray through. 
Mr. that we pray through in Jesus' name. Why? Because we pray through. And when you pray through, breakthrough will come. He wrestled on the journey of the day. All the journey and the stuff of 20 years terminated here. Now, rest of mine came. Now, peace came. Now, joy came. Now, Abraham came. He was not going in his own land now. No more a fugitive, a vagabond. A disorder coming around running from one person to the other. No more a servant. He was no more a servant. He was not having peace. He himself now has servant. And cannot dwell in his own father's house. Without fear, without assault, without disturbance, without distress, without depression. Now, no anxiety. No fear of any issue anywhere. That one this morning, do you want it? I'm asking, do you want it? If you want it, listen, it's only a prayer of one minute. It's only a prayer of two minutes. He wrestled all the night. And as we wrestle here this morning, me, this morning, something is about to happen. But there's the garden of the clouds. There's the rumble of the sky. Rain will soon fall. So rain shall damp up. Upon your, upon, upon, your, upon, your, upon your life. Upon your home. Upon your enemy. Upon your destiny. Here there will be a money, a remolding of destiny. The story of your life will change here this morning. It all depends on you. If you like your life the way it is, keep quiet. Pass your Bible, go away. If you want your life the way it is, and you are satisfied with stagnancy, with setback, with failure, with depression, with disaster, with calamity, with anxiety, with failure, then you can say, but if you want a change, here you must wrestle. And as you pray here, don't pray like a gentleman. Don't pray like an American. Don't pray like a student. Don't, don't pray like an, 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 an academic. Pray as high and loud. Pray like a madman. Pray the way. He's like a prayer or mechanic. Pray the way. He don't pray as Mojapo. If you pray, as you pray here, and you pray and you pray too, something is about happening. There is a garden of the clouds. There is a rain of the sky. There is a sign of abundance of rain. Rain to your garments. Rain to your marriage. Rain to your home. Rain, 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 rain to your profession. Rain to your marriage. Rain, rain to your ministry. Rain to your spiritual life. Rain everywhere. You will have a success. You will have a joy. Have a progress. Have a abundance. Have a peace. Have a joy. Have a testimony. You may prepare yourself. You will pray to pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now. And some people, you say, what is your name? What is your name? God is asking here this morning. What is your name? What is your name? That is the question God is asking this morning. God is asking, what is your name? Tell me your name. Tell me your name. I will send you now. I will set back to you now. I will back up you now. But God right now, I want a new name. There will be a new name here. A new name for all our sundry. A new name for all timers. A new name for newcomers. A new name for everybody. If you like to know you are, you cannot pray. But God will give you a new name. What to ask, what to receive. What to pray for is what to get. Pray now, pray now. Pray like a madman. Pray like a diamond. Pray like a diamond. Forget the environment. Forget the people. Forget the people. Forget the people. Forget the environment. Forget the time. Forget your target. No, forget your need. Just your schedule. Forget what, what you have to do. Do not know only one thing. Your name must say, Rest you here. Rest you here. Rest you here. Rest you here. And rest you now. It is now or never. I will never be told. But life will bless me. Something must happen. Your story must change. Your situation must change. Where are you be having promises? And a set performance. Pray on the build performance. Pray on even this morning. Pray now. Pray now. Pray better. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. Pray better. Pray now. Pray now. Add no part to your prayer. Your health must change. Your story must change. Your destiny must change. Your difficulty must be removed. All the enemies that have been seen before, as of now onward, you will see them no longer. How will we give attention? Open heaven, O oh God. Open heaven, O oh God. Lord be God. Lord be God. God of peace. God of joy. God of feeling. God of satisfaction. God of breakthrough. God of progress. God, God of success. Open for me. What you ask is what you have in your GPA, in your countries, in your academies, in your departments. What you seek, what you have. Pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now, pray now. Don't bend at the temple. Are you pray like 
fait tellement. Paul a fait tellement. Il se fout là, il a pris la trouvette. Il a pris la trouvette. Bon, on va la chouette, merci. Bref. Bref.
don't know what the temple. The rest too he prevailed. He was in pain, yet he continued. He didn't have a witness. I wish to pray more. So if I feel in fact here, are you really praying? Genesis, are you praying? Holy Spirit, are you sleeping? Not today, it's time for prayer. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. It's divine moment. It's divine moment. It is divine moment. It is divine moment. Your moment has come. Your miracle is here. Thank God for your miracle. Your miracle has come. Your breakthrough has come. Your blessing has come. Your joy has come. Your peace has come. Your pleasure has come. Your pocket has come. Your pocket has come. Your your tears. Your joy is come. Your name has changed. The Satan has said, pray more, pray more, pray more, pray more, pray more. From the throne to heaven. That is the number, by Jesus. We are going to give you the name of every name. That the name of Jesus Christ, every name is found. For things above and things beneath. And every person who confess, not just Christ. Telephone to heaven. Telephone to heaven. Telephone. Those of you outside the, the building are you really praying. Make sure you are praying. It's the divine moment. The Spirit of God is hovering over the environment. What is your bless? So God is moving around. What is your bless? If you don't receive, if you don't, you don't pray. Seek, it shall find. Knock, it shall be open. Ask, it shall be given. Ask now, ask now, ask now, ask now. Tell him your name. I'm not stopping you, don't stop yet. I'm not stopping you, don't stop yet. in the network area. See my area, confess your sin, otherwise not be here. Repent and confess, otherwise we won't hear you. If you pray from here to tomorrow, you are a sinner, God will not hear you. Pray more. Pray more. Pray more. Break through the families. Break through your academies. Break through in your job. Get to your finances. Get to every area. What are you doing? I'm going to put his hands on that prosper. A man is a man of stagnancy. Living like a fugitive. Distressed and disappointed. Depressed and anxious. 
fearful and stagnant. They love you to know. The joke is broken. The joke is broken. The joke is broken. Play more, play more, play more, play more, play more. You are praying too. Advanced level of prayer. High level of prayer. Read level of prayer. I beg you, don't be quiet. Advanced level of prayer. Advanced level of prayer. High energy prayer. Not the kind of prayer you've been praying before. Really prayer. Something will not happen. Something must happen. Something must happen. Pray it more, pray it more, pray it more, pray it more. You dare to desire to have testimony, to reduce testimony. In fact, you have said that testimony already. The mountains are both of going to save it. The skills of the skills that clap their hands for you. Let it here. Let it here. Let it here. Now and pray specifically for some set of people. And whatever we are, we are praying here, we are sitting together. 
because grateful is your portion. As we are going home this afternoon, everybody is going with a package of grace. If you are praying here, you are going with a package of grace in your pocket and in your hand. It is a grace. All eyes closed. When you fall in an area of no network, you don't get through. If you pray from now to next tomorrow, if I see in your heart or your hand or in your hand, in your hand God will not hear you. All eyes closed. You know sincerely you are a sinner. You've not been born again. You have been born again before you've not been blessed. And therefore you are living in sin. And like God cannot hear you. Wasted their sight, wasted their foot, wasted their time. And we don't want us to be like that. If you are like that this morning, all that slow, head bow, put up your hand. You want to be of a sinner to that. You be free from sin. That is the greatest breakthrough. The rich are breakthrough. And that is the breakthrough that will last for eternity. Every other breakthrough will end here below. That is the highest one. All that slow, like that. Put up your hand. I want to help you. I want to give assistance. That's, I mean, I that hand. There are so many more. Yes, I see that those hands. Put up properly. There are even who want to sit on them. I'm not talking about just coming out and going back and going back to your school. No. You are sincere. No self friend any longer. No sitting in any longer. No lie any longer. No morality any longer. No fornication. No masturbation any longer. No, no, no. No going to my father any longer. You want to be free from sin. Once and for all. Put up your hand. I want to be of assistance to you. Put it up on the party. Anywhere you are. Put it up. Put it up. You want to be free from sin. You are still a sinner, you will become sin. All those of you who are who are listening to your hand over there, put up a leg. Yes, I will try to come to the front here, so that we can pray for you. Come out anywhere you are, join us here. Uh, anywhere you are, also have a message to be here. Don't put it down, keep, keep coming out, keep coming out. Let's go back, start up to you. You are that, come out, come out, come out, come out. Don't put that your down, just come out, come out. So you are up your hand, come out here. Let's go back, start up to you. There's no shame about it. It's an issue that I've taken the decision about. Some time ago, many of us who are here, we are at that point, as one time or the other. And at this time, we want to be on the time with you as well. Heaven wants to forgive you. Christ wants to pardon you. We want to learn the book of life and give you spiritual breakthrough. Seek you for the kingdom of God and the righteousness. And every other thing that will be added unto you. This is your friends, 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 in every area, financial, any area, we want to forgive you. Come to the front of the front, and I come to the front, confess your sin. Tell God, I am a sinner. Tell him I am a sinner. Forgive me. I promise you I will see no more. Grab the name of the book of life. Enough is enough. Enough my sin. I don't want to sin any longer. Forgive me my sin, Jesus Christ. I come unto you today. I will confess my, 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 my sin to you. Grab the name of the book of life. Don't let me sin any longer. Give me power to go and see no more. Give me grace to go and see no more. Are we praying for these people? Let's for all of these people. Give me grace to go and see no more. The path was no more. Break the yoke of sin in my life. Give me spiritual breakthrough. Christ my name is the book of life. Cleanse me with your blood. Forgive me all my sins. Make me your own side. I confess and receive you as my Lord and Savior. Tell Jesus, tell Jesus. He's waiting, he's wanting to forgive. And he wants to, to forgive you. Tell him, tell him. In Jesus' name we pray. See after me, those are outside. Lord Jesus, I come unto you. Have you realized that I'm a sinner? And I'm tired of my sin. I repent here, even now. And I'm asking, Father God, forgive my sin. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus Christ. I receive Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. I promise. Not to see any longer. I receive the atonement of Calvary for the remission of sin now. And I believe that by his death, I'm forgiven. I'm cleansed. I'm pardoned. Life is finished. That it is so. Even now in my life, Lord Jesus, as from now and onward, I am yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, you said in your word. Whosoever comment unto me, I will no wise cast out. This one has come unto you publicly, confessing you as the Father and Savior, repenting of their sins. You are asking the joy of heaven, joy of salvation, make it the portion of this one. Say now and help us in Jesus' name. 
let the yoke of sin be broken in their life and from this moment to the eternity in Jesus' name. Write in the name of the book of life. See them the witness of the Spirit. See them the spiritual breakthrough. And from this morning, Lord God, let something new happen in their life in Jesus' name. They will know it. Others will know it. And you see them to heaven. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Follow the altar to tell you what to see. I want to pray for everybody right now because it is the moment of breakthrough. I say it is the moment of breakthrough. It is the hour of breakthrough. Overcoming is your experience now. As from now, you are being exploited. You are having something. Put your two hands on your head, you are prophesying to those hands. And as from now onward, where that will be unfortunate before, answer will be fortunate. Where are the happy enemies before? Those enemies tell what they be your friend. Where have been rejected till now? Here you be accepted. Where is been till now? Here it will be easy. Where have been making where have been having stagnant before? Right now. Speedy progress and quick motion. We have there in Jesus. When I say it is difficult, we'll be saying it's easy. When they are saying I've failed, you will be saying I've passed. It's like you have your testimony before. Hands up, your testimony is starting. People will see it. They will admire you. You will be an individual who will be emulating and they will be speaking to be like teaching suffering. All the years of distress, they are over. The stress of your money, they are ending. Because the time and the moment of breakthrough now, it is come. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We have the example. And we have the experience. We have the promises. He said, for this we yet to be inquired of me. And your people have inquired. Christ will not become inquired. He wrestles. And to the day done. And something happened. Lord, I'm praying. This one, as they are praying, here this afternoon. Lord, I am asking this moment, learn something new, something pleasant. How do you individualize this thing? Every desire breaks through. You want to have expressed. You want a need. You want a request. You want to know that, that, that they need. Lord, I pray. Let them just break through here now. This thing. All the expenses of stagnancy, all the expenses of setbacks, all the expenses of failures, all the expenses of carryovers in your life, this hour, the Lord is broken in Jesus' name. I prophesy success, accomplishment, victory, breakthrough, joy, advancement to your life now in Jesus' name. He said, I know the Torah has watched you. Thought of good, not of evil. To get you to the dead end. The end you expect. The end you desire. The end you are praying for. You are getting there and that's the delay. He gives us there. <laughs> Father, I pray. The trouble and the affliction of this world. Put an end to it. He gives us there. <laughs> what are the reproaches? This is a stagnancy. Take away their failure. Take away their complaint. Take away their distress. Take away their discouragement. Take away their sorrow. No, I pray, gladness in the place of sadness. You are to them now. This is okay. Those who are old enough for marriage, brothers, sisters, I was like, it's been different in that area. This hour I stand as the minister of the New Testament. And I prophesy that the pattern of your life. I say, now, the job is broken. You are released to marry now. He gives us a. Though I will have difficulty in person, in our serving, that there's a seal on their GPA by the power of preservation. I blow away by the turn of the spirit. That seal now, I stand and I, and I stand higher. He gives us a. Those who are due for promotion, as like something is stopping them, as you know me, I slow them down. Right now, I have passed all the promotion. Have it now, in Jesus' name. For everybody here, Lord God, breakthrough. First, breakthrough. Academic breakthrough. 
marital breakthrough, ministerial breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough, financial breakthrough, business breakthrough, family breakthrough. Breakthrough in every area. Make it a person in Jesus. Give testimony to all our sons. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. A bigger amen. A higher amen. We do not jam. Wow. We do not jam. Hallelujah.